In the previous lecture, where we introduced the concept of public goods and why they're underproduced or not even produced at all in the free market, we talked about two major problems, which is the free rider problem, where businesses could not exclude, so it was non exclusive and non rivalrous, so they couldn't exclude people from using a good once it is produced and you can't ex you c the good isn't rivalrous to the extent that the consumption of the good doesn't actually diminish the product or the the use of the good for other people so this is why um, public goods are not produced in the free market because they are unprofitable They are unprofitable to producers, and since we know that in the operation of the free market, producers seek to maximise their profits because their um, marginal cost is greater than their marginal benefit using cost-benefit analysis, therefore we will see that producers will not produce. So how does the government aim to overcome this problem? So as we shall see in, a, in an example of say street lights or lamps, we're going to use the concept of a Lindau tax to overcome tax to overcome this problem of public goods. So let's say on a street there there are four people. So we have Anna, Ben, Charlie and Dean. So there are four people, A, B, C, D, Anna, Ben, Charlie C, and Dean, who actually live on this street. And the private marginal benefit they derive from street lamps are respectively $10, $20, $30, and $40. And so as we can see, if we add this all up, we get a social marginal benefit, or the total benefit of the entire community, to be worth $100. But, however, we can see that the social marginal cost, which equals the private marginal cost, of producing a street lamp is $50. So it costs one person to produce a street lamp, and that, that cost of producing a street lamp is actually $50. So the social marginal cost is $50. But now we can see that because street lamps or the social marginal benefit of the street lamp is a hundred dollars this exceeds the social marginal cost so in, in in a perfectly competitive market this won't be produced because the cost or the private marginal cost exceeds the private or private marginal benefit of each person so nobody in this street would be would have the incentive of producing it but it would be beneficial for the entire society should this street lamp be produced so what, what the Lindau tax does is that it taxes based on proportionality. And by this I mean it taxes based on the proportion of social marginal or pro social marginal benefit the private private um, consumer gets. So as we can see that Anna she derives ten dollars out of the hundred dollars. So she derives ten percent worth of pleasure from the total um, $100 worth of social marginal benefit. And Ben derives 20%. Charlie, that should be a 3, derives 30%. And finally, Dean derives 40%. So what the Lindau tax suggests is that they should pay respective to how much benefit they get. And so we can see that 10% of $50 would then be $5. So Anna should pay $5 of the tax to contribute to the production of the lamp. Ben should then pay $10, Charlie should pay $15, and Dean should pay $20. And if you add all this up, you will get $50. And as we can see now, the tax helps us um, gather up or help us, help the government gather the money or find the available funds or the necessary funds to actually fund for the for the uh, for the building of this lamp or the contraction of this lamp, and so now we can see that the net gain is actually ten private mar marginal benefit, and this private marginal cost is actually a net gain of actually plus five dollars. Here, a net gain of plus ten dollars, plus fifteen dollars, 
and plus twenty dollars and so we get a plus fifty dollars net gain for society so now we can see that the Lindau tax can in fact help el eliminate the problem that there is a no or an underproduction of public goods in the economy but how is this also a problem so now we can see that because Anna seems to only derive 10% of um, of satisfaction of the total $100, $100 as she derives $10, $10 of private marginal benefit, Ben derives $20, Chai derives $30, there may be an agency problem that arises. And so because Dean recognises that other people will have to pay for the tax as well, he would understate his private marginal benefit of $40. He may only say, okay, I want this lamp. I want to maximize my living standards. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to derive, say, $10 worth of pleasure. And by the law of the Lindau tax, that means he would only have to pay 10% of the total social marginal benefit. But if this should repeat for everyone, and say Charlie says, I only get $10, $10 worth of pleasure from it, and Ben also $10 worth of pleasure, we're going to see that if this all adds up, this will be $40. And therefore, because everybody has understated um, their private marginal benefit here, the total social marginal benefit of this product would only be a $40. And so what this means is that this public good, according to the Lindau tax, or the law of the Lindau tax, it would also not be produced because the private marginal benefit is only $40, whereas the social marginal cost, the cost that we know must um, be foregone when we produce the lamp is $50, the, the government won't produce the lamp because social marginal benefit, understated to be $40, is less than the social marginal cost. And so this is why the Lindau tax may also be a problem in assessing the actual private marginal benefit of everyone because everyone would have the tendency to understate their private marginal benefit so as to decrease the amount that they get paid. So this is a very tough um, concept that the government has to deal with or to contend with in their daily operations because it's very hard to gather whether, whether Dean, whether Charlie, Ben or Anna are actually telling the truth. And so the Lindau tax is um, inappropriate, possibly, to, to reality, but it does provide a sort of a basic foundation of how the government should tax in order to overcome this problem of public goods and also the free rider problem.